the holiday season again. I was just doing some spring cleaning and stuff. But this isn't the season for Christmas. It's the season for Crossmas, where we'll be talking about Ultra Kaiju all day long, which is way more of my drift. I'm wondering if this is some sort of slang or something. Although I'm kind of nervous because I've heard these guys are pretty ruthless and they're holding the meeting in some sort of grungy basement or something. Anyway, this is a great opportunity to talk about my favourite kaiju, Twintail. I've got to make sure everyone gives him the attention and appreciation that he deserves. Good thing I have the 6 inch Safubi figure and not the dreaded Spark Doll release. Looks like duty's called, it's time to go! Hey everyone! Hey, welcome to the Crossness Party. Do you bring your kaiju? I sure did. It's great that everyone's here. I got the green cards. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. This is great. I can't wait to talk about the Ultra Monsters. I really like Ultraman. Oh, we don't actually know anything about Ultraman. It's all Ultra Monsters here. Then what are they doing there? Damn it, not again. But I thought this was an intervention. What would the Ultraman franchise be without its monsters? Alien colonizers, maybe, but that's not the point. With probably over 500 monsters in the series, they are an absolute staple to the franchise. Sure, fans may talk more often about the Ultraman themselves, but I believe that everyone also loves their monsters in the franchise. After all, they're a huge part of the Ultraman merchandise sales too. It's also evident that we love our monsters since a lot of people have been requesting for more new monsters in the series. With that many monsters, some are bound to be more memorable than others, whether it be due to their design, or the episode that they were in, or because of an inside joke. Today's another kaiju appreciation thing, so we'll be discussing some fan favorite ultra kaiju. Great! We're bringing out our own monsters now? This feels like Christmas again! Not Christmas, Crossmas. Alright, so Twin Tail from Return of Ultraman is my favorite ultra kaiju. What do you think? Hmm, let me guess. He's got two tails? I thought you wouldn't notice! Good choice. Not really my thing, but good for you. Not to sound defensive, but everyone should love Twin Tail. He's got an amazing and unorthodox design. Can't say I disagree. I'm more of a vacation guy. It's from another dimension, and I find it pretty cool about it. Can't say I disagree. Now, the most objective way to tell which kaiju are fan favorites are popularity polls. The NHK, or the Japan Broadcasting Corporation, ran some polls and even one just earlier this year. So these are the results from their fan favorite poll from 2011, leading it with Baltan, Zeton, Metron, Gomorra, and Pigmon. And here are the results from the 2022 poll with Zeton, Juggler's Juggler, Alien Baltan, Gomorra, and King Joe topping the top 5 of the poll. Looking at these two examples, we can see that Baltan, Zeton, and Gomorra are pretty consistent in their placements. King Joe and Metron are also some of the most popular Ultra 7 Kaiju, along with Pigmon being one of the first friendly monsters in the franchise. Juggler's Juggler was definitely a surprise considering he's relatively recent, and he even managed to beat out heavy hitters like Alien Mephilas and Eleking. Although I have heard that the votes possibly come from a strong fanbase of fangirls, but I digress. Of course, while it's tempting to call this a clear-cut metric of identifying fan favorites, there's also a lot of factors into play here, like people that may not have known about the poll, or people voting many times for one character. Besides the kaiju mentioned in the poll, there are a lot of fan favorites. The usual suspects in current Ultra shows were pretty much breakout kaiju at first. Gomorra, Ella King, Red King, Zeton, Baltan, Pandan, Tyrant, Valky, these guys were brought back at first due to their popularity among watchers. In a move to win back an audience who were falling out of the franchise at the time, the show Ultraman Max brought back a lot of popular picks from Ultraman and Ultra 7 usually with a twist in lore or backstory which was pretty fun. 
Then, for the 40th anniversary of the franchise, Ultraman Mebius brought back some lesser used kaiju from the successive series Return of Ultraman, Ultraman Ace, Ultraman Taro, Ultraman Leo, and Ultraman 80, like Mukadender, Nova, Gudon, Velocron, Lunatics, Temporer, and more. And as we all know, the new generation Ultraman series brings back a lot of returning kaiju in their shows as well. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the shell and everything. It's pretty yeah, well, awesome. Yeah, bro, yeah. it looks like really strong. It's awesome. It's really it's just, orange. It's like, really awesome. I think it orange, bro. I bet it can take down Ultraman. So Twin Tail is pretty game. strong yeah, too. Especially in underwater combat. He even almost beat Ultraman Mebius. Very nice, but Twin Tail is natural prey to Gudon and always f***ing dies to him. For me, it has to be an all-time classic, Gamora. Solid design and really tough too. Didn't he beat Ultraman the first time too? Yeah! I thought you guys didn't know anything about Ultraman. Oh, we power scale. As I told you, Vakushim's pretty strong too. Oh yeah, strong kaiju rule! Yeah. yeah! Now, which of these comes first? A fan favorite kaiju is brought back, or does a returning kaiju become a fan favorite? I would say it is the former, especially if the monster has some exposure to the viewer previously, such as through appearing in video games or being the subject of a meme. However, when does a fan favorite become tiring to see continuously being brought back? While many still appreciate seeing Red King again in a newer series, there comes a point where it gets a bit tiring to see them over and over again, the worst offenders probably being Gubila, Pagos, Red King and Gomorrah, but at least Red King and Gomorrah have been seen with a lot of variations like their EX versions, Cyber Gomorrah, and even Sphere Gomorrah. I mean it makes sense why they keep bringing them back. It saves a lot of budget to just reuse the monster or just modify some of their parts. I think this is a big contributing factor to why these monsters keep coming back. Plus, they can promote their old merchandise. That said, people aren't opposed to the idea of bringing back kaiju, but they just want to see the series switch things up to use lesser used kaiju that people also love. One suggestion I've seen a lot is to bring back early Heisei era kaiju. There are a number of fan favorites from this era as well as those that haven't nearly showed up as often. Namely Golza, Kyrialoid, Reikubus, Neosaurus, Bundar, Chaos Darkness, If, Sigma Zoigul, Kutura, just to name a few. Personally, I would like to see Clevergon back. Now, people kind of hope that Ultraman Trigger brought back a lot of Ultraman Tiga's kaiju, or heck, just any Heisei kaiju, but it didn't happen, and it seems like the studio's budget just cannot accommodate for that yet. But we did get Gazart, Kyrialoid, and Golba, who was a fusion of Golza and Melba. And in Ultraman Decker, we got a really nicely updated Monsarga suit, and a Gregor Man. Even looking at the polls, it does look like Heisei era kaiju are outshined by their Showa era predecessors, but that doesn't mean that the studio shouldn't try bringing those guys back. Gun Q is probably the Heisei kaiju that's closest to being as iconic as the Showa veterans, as he's the only Heisei kaiju listed on Tsuburaya's website's kaiju encyclopedia. But come on guys, Gomorrah's returned so many times, surely it gets boring by now? That's part of fun! It's like seeing an old friend back. Then if Twin Tail came back, do you think he'll be the best kaiju? Eh, not necessarily. Vakushim is still better. He's stronger, meaner, and way more cooler than Twin Tail. Way more cooler than Twin Tail. Yeah, kaiju! Kaiju, 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 kaiju. I've had enough of this Twin Tail unappreciation. I'm leaving! So what's your thing on Red King? Yeah, pretty good. And of course, we also have the funny category, where a kaiju may become a fan favorite because of, dare I say it, memes. One of the earliest things about the series cemented in pop culture is Alien Metron and Dan's conversation at the table from Ultra 7 Episode 8, The Targeted Town. Aside from the great episode that he was in, the scene being funny out of context made him rather popular too. He's more of a robot, but Sovenger has sort of become iconic too, maybe due to his derpy face and design and being part of an overall well-received show. And another one that's subtly surging in popularity due to its sheer genius of a design is Dinosaur Tank. Come on, look at me in the eye and tell me if this isn't brilliant. 
And of course, that's not even mentioning all the crazy stuff like what happened in the Kaiju Girls series. Okay, I'll stop talking about it now or I might reveal something I shouldn't. So as we can tell, there are a lot of fan favorite kaiju but everyone has their own picks and that's okay. Of course, Tsuburaya also has their own favorites, maybe mainly those that make them money. So the takeaway? Just continue to like whatever you like, whether it be Takong or Nightfang or Zandrias, anyone. I'd love to see who your favorites are in the comments. I don't get it! Twin Tail is the greatest kaiju ever created! No, no, I'm right. They, they're the ones who don't get it. Whoa, is it the bad opinion patrol? Please don't tell me you're trying to persecute me. No, Meek. I am from the future and have come to offer some words. If you're really from the future, can you tell me if Gubila keeps getting reused? Unfortunately, all the time, yeah. Damn it. Anyway, let's get back on track. As a Zeton super fan myself, Zeton was once a super strong kaiju back in the day. But after many numerous appearances, he's been reduced to what your people's era referred to as fodder. Once this super powerful monster that was able to defeat Ultraman, now reduced to mere foot soldiers that even Ultra Woman Grigio can defeat. True, it does kind of sting. My point is, why does a character's power level matter so much? Zeton's strength has fluctuated a lot over the years, but I'll still like him. It's okay to like your favorite monster simply because you don't have to get everyone to like Twin Tail. Everyone's different. Everyone has different things they want to see from their favorite shows. Why look? My favorite Ultra Kaiju will probably have to go to Gongo from episode 11 of the original Ultraman. If we're talking about Seijin or aliens, I would say aliens are up. Hi everyone, I'm Hi C, and one of my favorite Ultra Kaiju is King Joe, with his kinda boxy, kinda round body shape. The design is pure Tolnarina wonderfulness. The alien Zara is much more interesting knowing that he doesn't really disguise himself to like blend in with people. The fact that if you destroy him, he's made up of multiple smaller parts and can just bring himself back together again. We could talk about like my Jeed or or my or my Pega. Wow. I guess you're right. I guess I was being a jerk. Thank you for making me realize that, portal guy. Now you see that person over there? What's up with him? Him? Well, he's a dejected Wyndham fan. Disappointed that Wyndham isn't getting any strong portrayal anymore in favor of Avenger. Go on, do something nice for him. Like what? I don't know, give him a gift card or something. I totally get it. Being a Wyndham fan, huh? Not in this economy. To cheer you up, I got you this. Thank you. <laughs> I thought he was coming back. He loved his green cards. Guys, I just want to apologize for trying to shove Twin Tail down your throats. Everyone has a right to like their own favorite kaiju and have their own opinions, whether it be because of strength or design or just because you like them. Yeah, we also realize that strength isn't all that makes for a good kaiju. To make it up to you, we got you this. A wind up twin tail toy? And this. The twin tail SH free guards? And this twin tail spark stall. Thanks. All is well, it ends well. I'd say that Tail taught us a lot of lessons on appreciation. I suppose now I'll really enjoy my holidays with these guys. And yes, even with the Spark Doll figure. Could have been worse. <laughs>